win in class record time. Set to go. Off and racing. Our Black Devil broke after the start. Civilly checking Masada. Showing great pace, Land Agent. The Cornishman can't really go with his stablemate to the first turn. Mutineer hunting up on the inside. And Mutineer's driver's keen to hold the lead from a Land Agent. Then came Oriana Skipper and the Cornishman three wide. Now Tolvan Cross driving up along the rails, followed by Tabinaday, who's got in nicely to be one out, two back early. Well back is Stylish Adios, followed by Zulu Lu, who's third last, Masada the rail. And last, our Black Devil back into a pace. The leader Mutineer, but now the Cornishman goes quickly on the outside, and the driver of Mutineer is going to hand up. But the Cornishman just struggling to get around Mutineer at the moment, does so now. Zulu Lu's off three wide. He's coming around the field with a mile to run. Left without cover momentarily is Land Agent, and then Tolvan Cross along the rails. Uh, followed by Oriana Skipper, then came on the inside Masada, Zulu Lu three wide. Wide. Now the driver of Mutiny has come off the fence. He's going to get a trail as Zulu Lu strides up three wide. Third last is uh, one off the fence to Binaday. He's been shuffled back, followed by our Black Devil. And last of all, as they settle down as stylish Adios, the leader, the Cornishman, the outside Zulu Lu, and now Tolvan Cross, thank you very much, goes up behind the leader. 1-1 one, one, Mutineer, and then on the inside came Masada. Further back, one out, two back, Land Agent. The rail's our Black Devil, followed by Oriana Skipper. Second last, Tabinaday, and last of all is Stylish Adios. The first quarter in 31-4, swinging onto the home turn, 1,800 metres to go. And it's the Cornishman, the inside, who's had a pretty hard run, the outside, Zulu Lu. Then came Tolvan Cross, followed by, on the outside, Mutineer, one by one. Masada, the third horse on the rails from Land Agent. Three wide, Tabinaday strides up strongly. Our Black Devil snookered away on the fence. The outside of it, Oriana Skipper. And now Stylish Adios gets a trail onto the back of Tabinaday. They leave the 800 behind them. And the leader goes well, the Cornishman, three metres. On the outside, Zulu Lu. Then Tolvan Cross. Now Mutineer is dropping out. Three wide, Tabinaday. Then on the inside came Masada, held up, followed wider out by Stylish Adios. Further back out wide, Oriana Skipper from in the centre came uh, well back, Land Agent. At last is our Black Devil. Along the back, 4.50 to go. The Cornishman still goes OK. He leads by ahead, but the outside, Zulu Lu throws down the challenge. Challenge. Tolvan Cross getting off the fence. He's just held up for a run. Three wide to Binaday. Masada sneaking up along the rails. And here's Stylish Adios putting in a good strong run. On the turn, many chances. Zulu Lu though goes to the lead from the Cornishman. Wider out on the track. Stylish Adios with to Binaday. Run on. Tolvan Cross just held up. The Cornishman can't go on. Zulu Lu reached the lead. The outside to Binaday throws down the challenge. Tolvan Cross the centre and down the outside. Stylish Adios. Zulu Lu grabbed by to Binaday. To Binaday goes to the lead and to Binaday wins. Second Zulu Lu, now Masada's flashed through on the centre and probably got third. Tight for fourth between Tolvan Cross and wide out on the track, Stylish Adios, followed by the Cornishman, our Black Devil, well back Mutineer, then came Oriana Skipper and last of all was Land Agent. The winner of race four will be number seven, Tabinaday. That's been a very strong run. Number seven, Tabinaday. A fantastic performance because it was three wide with about a thousand metres to go. It carted Stylish Adios up. A very game performance, and it's now unbeaten for the Alan Smith stable. Raced by S and D Nindorf, B Patterson and S Patterson, a Bay Gelding 10, by Flyover, out of Make a Piece. Number 7, Tabinaday, wins the money. You'll find that number 10, Zulu Lu, will hang on and get second, I'd say. He was a second very close to home by Lou Mitchell out of Trinker, trained and driven by Mark Webster. And Masada is the one that's come through the middle with a big finish. It's by Koala King out of Collie's Gift, trained by John Justice, driven by Jamie Williams, tight for fourth. Masada was splitting. Tolvan crossed the inside and stylish Adios out wide. They're racing, dwelling at the start, Pepper Flash, and beginning well was Sup Sherry Supreme, race straight to the front by three. Second, Mexico City, third, Ron's Reason, followed by Pepper Flash and Tijuana Midge. Two further back to Last City, followed by Roseanne, well out of its ground early, and back at the rear was Valley Big Prince. Out of the straight, Sherry Supreme was flying in front, it's ten lengths clear. Second, Mexico City, followed by Pepper Flash, two further back, Ron's Reason from Tijuana Midge, and also Roseanne. Three, Valley Big Prince, second last, and last of all was Last City at the top turn. It's Sherry Supreme still 10 in front of second Mexico City. Finishing on fairly well was Roseanne followed by Pepper Flash and Ron's Reason but straightening up at Sherry Supreme in front. Roseanne taking ground of it. Sherry Supreme stops. Oh, Roseanne grabbed it as close. Roseanne or Sherry Supreme third. Pepper Flash followed by Ron's Reason. Tijuana Midge behind those next. Last City Roseanne with Mexico City. 
The other one there was uh, Ron's Reason. Photo finish, photo after the seventh event, very, very close. We had the classic case of Sherry Supreme straightening 10 in front and Roseanne flashed at it. And Roseanne has the momentum. And if it gets a 270 and 150 in New South Wales, Roseanne first, I think, over Sherry Supreme who stops. $1.40. If it gets at 9.50 the win, 140 the place. Now, having a look at this replay, Sherry Supreme must have been the best part of 12 lengths in front down the side by the 617 boxes and has absolutely paddled. And Roseanne has given it a start and right on the line, Sherry Supreme and Roseanne have hit it. And as we get down to the line, Roseanne, I think, has won the race. It's got the momentum, it's got the outside posse, and I think it's got the race. Roseanne... Guesting number eight will go in. It has. 8-2-1, 43-29, the time recorded. Set. Away they go. Towards the inside, Kanshai walked out on its outside. Grindelwald is showing speed. Leads early from on the outside. Going forward is Alana, who's now tackling Grindelwald for the lead and looks like getting there too. Just in behind them now, Shushu gets to third, followed by Valley's Babe. Raindrop rhythm is a little bit wide as Alana now leads. Back in behind them, Kanshai, followed by Urin Punji Miss, Sheriella Royal Anne. Second last early is Samantha Craig and 15 metres away, Blue Sage. At the top of the straight in the first circuit, Alana leads by four metres. Working around the outside now, Raindrop rhythm into second place in Grindelwald is third. Shush with cover now fourth. Back in behind them, Kanshai the inside. Then Valley's Babe, Sheriella four back on the inside. Four back on the outside and fourth last is Urin Punji miss third last and hanging samantha craig second last on the outside is royal anne and 12 meters away blue sage out of the straight they travel in the first circuit and pulling out now from fourth last is urine punchy miss in front is alana but the stable mate urine punchy miss is circumnavigating on the leader's back is grindelwald raindrop rhythm without cover urine punchy miss is off the track then shush on the outside of kanshai five meters to valley's bay back in behind them sherriella six meters to royal anne pulling awfully hard on the outside off Samantha Craig and 15 metres away Blue Sage. They come off the top turn once again. Urine Punji Miss now travels up into second placing. Sits up outside the leader's wheel. Alana is the leader. Third Grindelwald. Fourth with cover now Raindrop Rhythm. Then can shy the inside. From the rear now Royal and after pulling hard as set alight. Followed by Shush on the outside. In behind them Sherriello. Followed by Valley's Babe. Second last is Samantha Craig and still 12 metres away Blue Sage. They've got a lap to go. At the 950, Alana in front of... She's had an easy run by three metres to on the outside, Urin Punji miss. Royal Anne is out three wide. The leader's back is Grindelwald. Raindrop rhythm in the centre. Shush now pulls to the outside, three wide on the back of Royal Anne. In turn, Valley's Babe now pulls out on the back of Shush. Can shy, three back on the fence. Three back on the outside of Sherriella. Second last, Samantha Craig and five metres away, Blue Sage. Down the back towards the 600. It's Alana held together still by four metres to on the outside, Urin Punji miss. Ahead away third, the rail, Grindelwald. Royal Anne out three wide on a loose rein. Raindrop rhythm in the centre. Shush now pulls out four wide. In behind them, Can Shy, followed by Valley's Babe, then Sherry Ella, Samantha Craig, and Blue Sage pulls to the extreme outside. 350 out before the turn, they're tightly packed. It's Alana by a metre and a half to out three wide, Royal Anne, and Urin Punji miss. Four deeper, Shush, five wide, Valley's Babe, and six wide now, Blue Sage coming home like a train and back in behind them Grindelwald at the 150 in front of Zolana from Royal Anne out wide Blue Sage is late down the outside at the 100 Royal Anne grabbed Alana but Blue Sage is coming at the pair on the outside Blue Sage ranged up on the outside took the lead near the line and Blue Sage has got up to win by two metres in a big effort second Alana I think Sherry Ella third a nose to Royal Anne then Valley's Babe and Grindelwald can shy back in behind them followed by Raindrop Rhythm you're in punch Jim is knocked up from Samantha Craig and tailed off with Shush. Righto, thank you, Brian. Eight, uh, possibly three and eleven. It's very close there. Updating Sydney. Racing about to go, and here they go. About to jump. 
Mr. Fabulous wasn't the smartest out and Morscope got away well and he let on settling down and Mr. Fabulous moving through to join him now. They have a break right there for Morscope as they go to the back. Flame out railing got the second. Mr. Fabulous coming again third and they're followed then by Toby Lynch out wide. Emma Fox, Madame Murray and then Silver Ghost out of the back straight up towards the home turn now and on the inside Morscope is just a leader. Flame out is giving plenty around the turn and Mr. Fabulous and flashing home as Madame Murray and they go to the line. Gee, it's close on the inside. Flame out might have beaten Madame Murray. Uh, Toby Lynch might have got third and they're followed by a tongue away. More scope. Then came Mr. Fabulous. Emma Fox uh, was the next to finish in the event and Silver Ghost. Thank you very much, Ray. Five, four and a photo there now. Nine to... Stand by. And the blue lights up. They're off at racing. And a very good start. And uh, Lauren Butler's got no early speed and Harbour Command is also beaten for pace. Getting out very quickly is uh, Wilga Wiz from out deep on the track. Also Lido Lens showing pace. Wilga Wiz trying to cross them. Bill Yarra Boy kicks up on the inside. Miniature guys caught very deep running into the first corner. Lido Lens just behind those, followed by Begin again. Dan's caught next over on the inside as they run up towards the home corner the first time. Harbour Command a long way back. Also back with it is Black Medicine coming up to the bend as they swing around the home corner to get the bell and back with it is begin again into the stretch now one circuit left to go Wilga Wiz is the leader moving up on the outside as miniature guy at the leader's wheel Bill Yara boy next and then came Lido Len Dan's court followed by Lauren Butler Harbour Command off the fence and chasing up as they race past the judge and then came Black Medicine begin again on its outside and last of all is Lady Charity after the bell heading towards the back Wilga Wiz in front for Michael Grimer. Leads narrowly on the outside as Miniature Guy as the head down the back and that lead time is pretty smart, 59.4. A length away in third spot is Bill Yara Boy on the inside of Lido Len, followed by Dan's Court Harbour Command taking off three wide, going around them quickly, followed by Lauren Butler, right off the track, Lady Charity, and then came Black Medicine and begin again as called it a night. They pack right up at the 500 metre mark. Many with a show and a new leader, Lido Len went to the front now. From Miniature Guy and Harbour Command sails up to them out three deep on the track. Over on the inside is Wilga Wiz. They were followed by Bill Yara Boy. Lady Charity's right off the track and right behind those Black Medicine. Up to Oi, almost fell Black Medicine. Up towards the home corner, Lido Len just the leader. Harbour Command's racing up to tackling those as they straighten up. They're about two lengths clear of Wilga Wiz. Bill Yara Boy getting out and coming home well. Lido Len's just the leader. Bill Yara Boy trying to reach them on the outside. Dan's caught. Finishing very quickly, Bill Yara Boy hit the lead close to home and Bill Yara Boy is too strong. Bill Yara Boy first, second Lido Len, third Dan's caught out wide and Harbour Command followed by Wilga Wiz, miniature guy, Lady Charity disappointing. A long way back, Lauren Butler followed by Black Medicine and last in was Begin Again. Thank you very much, uh, Wayne. Now let's have a look at the updated market for Brisbane. The outside of the second, the lines start to take shape. They're just about ready. Blue lights on, racing in fine time in the centre, one of the first away. Chip and Gale on the rail began well, and Finnegan's Bluff came out quickly. I'm a Hillview from the second line, began lickety split, and already he's threading his way between runners. He's second and third running into the first turn, and Waihimo Lin busted. Waihimo Lin galloped running around the first bend and drops out to the tail of the field, and fine time is the leader. By a length over Finnegan's Bluff, and one to Chip and Gale, who's third on the inside of I'm a Hillview in the sweet seat. One to another leader on the inside of Royal Command and then a length and a half to Worthy Knight followed by Nero's Fury. Another length away was My Red Butler out three deep. Wahimo Lin goes up on the fence on the inside of Fair Dinkum and Mustang Star had dropped out to the tail. 35.3 for the first 500 metres. Fine time in front with 1,400 left to run. My Red Butler was trapped out in the boondocks. He rushes up to second. He's going up to have a crack at the leader. Chip and Gale's third behind fine time and Finnegan's Bluff now winds up fourth as my red butler takes block outside of fine time. I'm a Hillview three back in the running lane, another leader on the rail, then Worthy Knight on the inside of Royal Command followed by Wahimo Lin, one to Nero's Fury, one to Mustang Star and Fairnick and whip them in at the judge and the bell. A thousand to run 32.1 first quarter and it's fine time by a neat length over my red butler. Chip and Gale third bailed up on the rail. 
Finnegan's Bluff fourth around another leader and then I'm a hill view on the outside of Worthy Knight. Finnegan peels out three wide and moves forward at the 800. Wahimo Lin on the fence inside of Royal Command then Nero's Fury and ahead to Mustang Star. Fine time the leader to the back. 32.6 second section. Fine time by Wonder My Rhett Butler. A length away is Fair Dinkum. Chip and Gales on the rail but corralled. Then Finnegan's Bluff. I'm a hill view three wide behind Fair Dinkum. Another leader on the fence from Royal Command. Worthy Knight. Nero's Fury. Wahimo Lin and Mustang Star. Fine time. Still more than a length in front at the 400. My Rhett Butler second. Fair Dinkum third. Chip and Gales on the fence. There's no room. Then I'm a hill view and another leader. Fine time by a length of the 250. McMahon had a look and another one and another one. It's fine time in front at the top of the lane. Fair Nickham's under the whip. My Red Butler gone. Chip and Gale's gone back to the fence. Fine time led at the 100. Chip and Gale's driving up on the rail. Chip and Gale after fine time and got him. Chip and Gale scorched along the fence. Grabbed the lead and Chip and Gale won. Chip and Gale beat fine time. Royal Command arrived in time for third. Then another leader, Fair Nickham, I'm a Hillview, Nero's Fury, Worthy Knight. Waihimo Lin, My Red Butler, Mustang Star and Finnegan's Bluff wound up at the tail of the field. One, five and two there, those placings on race five at Albion Park. One, five and two. Boxes. Set race eight. Ready? Racing. Beginning well was for Lisa over to Rango. Moving out Plum Roland. Also Pop and Jay from Roma Bale and Big Bad Chaz. Behind those came Sir Frederick. Out of the straight for Lisa in front by a length and a half on to Rango. A length away third was Roma Bale who's close. Three further back to Big Bad Chaz followed by Plum Roll. Second last Pop and Jay and last of all was Sir Frederick. At the top turn it's for Lisa in front. Rolling off the fence at the right time is Roma Bale followed by Tarango and Big Bad Chaz. They straighten for Lisa's not giving up. It's race three now four in front and four Lisa is a mile too good. Four Lisa first, Big Bad Chaz second, third, Roma Bale followed by Plum Roll and Tarango, second last Pop and Jay and last of all was Sir Frederick. Thank you Rod, 2, 5 and 8 race 8 at Penrith and $31.90. 3, Alanar at 140, 19, 34, 11, Sherryala, Quinella $4.40, traffic to 4.73.30, race 5 at Mooney Valley. Wentworth Park, Greyhounds race 6. And the to run the favourite Chip Miller in the red at 95 cents. They're away and Chip Miller began fast at searching for the lead. Driven out with a whip, Waratah Kid on the inside, can't hold it. And the favourite Chip Miller's going to go across and lead Waratah Kid and High Kim. Trap three wide, bold Lamass. Also Arja to clear three wide on its back and Carto the centre. Then Bravery along the rails from Ty Linka third last, but one off Jack's a star second last. And last is Grant me a win. 26.45 the journey and Chip Miller's going to try and lead all the way. He's three metres in front of High Kim who's pulling a little bit. Three metres to Waratah Kid on a loose rein the rail and Bold Lamass trapped three wides going back to the rear of the field. Carto one out and one back and grabbing its back Arja to clear. Three back along the rail is Bravery followed by Ty Linker on the outside of nothing as Jack's a star's hanging back from the back of Bravery. Last at the moment grant me a win but shortly it's stable mate Bold Lamass will take up that position because it's been trapped three wide. On the home turn, and the leader Chip Miller travels well. Chip Miller by a metre in second placing on the outside is High Kim. They've got 1,800 metres to go. One out and one back is Carto, and next on the inside, Waratah Kid. One by two, Arja de Clare and Bravery the Rail, followed by Ty Linker, who's one out and three horses back from that leading the outside. Then came Grant Me a Win, third last. Jack's a star racing ungenerously for Bronte Giorgio along the rails. He's got his head on one side. And he's the fifth horse racing along the fence, or the fourth and last of all is Bold Lamass. Chip Miller takes them to the back. They'll get uh, the bell next time round, or the siren, and Chip Miller by four metres to High Kim. Now here's Ty Linker three wide. Webster not happy. He's going up towards the lead with Ty Linker to put some pressure on Chip Miller. Chip Miller leads the way by two metres, but Ty Linker quickly strides alongside. High Kim now third with a trail, and Waratah Kid struggling to stay in touch on the rails. Then Carto the outside, followed by Arja de Clare also off the fence around Bravery. Further back, Grant me a win from Jack Star the inside, and Bold Lamass whipped them in. Leaving the back, they come onto the home turn. They've got about uh, 1,100 metres to run, and Chip Miller shows the way by two metres to Ty Linker. Two metres away on the inside now, High Kim. It's dropped to the rails as Waratah Kid struggles to stay in touch. He just plods away. He's now the third horse along the fence. Carto still one by one on the back of Ty Linker, followed by Arja de Clare. Further back, Bravery racing on the inside of Grant Me a Win. Second last, Bold Lamass. And last of all is Jack's a star. And he travels a lot better now. He's away from the rail.
Leaving the straight inside the 800, it's Chip Miller the favourite, three metres to Ty Linker. High Chem's struggling, it looks beaten High Chem, it's passed by Carto. Well, the 26.45 is finding some of these out. Arja declares struggling away, as is Grant Me a Win, making some ground from Bold Lamass. Well back, Jack's a star and Bravery now badly held up. They race into the back straight. The first quarter, 31-3, and likewise the second, 500 to go. And Chip Miller dashed clear. Chip Miller six metres in front of Ty Linker. Arja declare the bolter running a very good race, has run to third under hard driving from Carto. Then Grant Me a Win the rail, but off the back, and Chip Miller has opened right up. Chip Miller's eight metres in front of Ty Linker and Argent Eclair. 200 metres to go and Chip Miller well clear. Argent Eclair's run to second around Ty Linker, fighting out the miners from Grant Me a Win, Carto and Bold Lamas, but around the turn. And the favourite, Chip Miller's well clear. He's 10 metres in front of Argent Eclair. Then came on the inside Ty Linker, but Chip Miller's going to be far too good. He's getting a bit tired, but he'll win Chip Miller by four metres. Argent Eclair a good effort second. Eight metres away third, Ty Linker from Bravery. Then Bold Lamas, no luck from the wide draw, might pay to follow from Carto. Further back, grant me a win from Jack's a star. Second last, High Chem, and last of all is Waratah Kid. Four, six and ten, race five at Globe Derby. Almost set now as we take... GRC stakes. The green light is showing and the power is on and away goes the bunny and they'll soon be racing, about to go on. Here they go. Racing, Ambrose Call bounced out, getting away well. Bonnie Short, Fascinate, Witch Bank, Kwazulu, an African zone. They travel the first turn now, and the leader is Ambrose Call. It shows the way, turning the corner now, and moving to second on the inside there as they race down the straight is Kwazulu, and they're followed by Witch Bank. The next one now was African zone, and then coming Fascinate as they swing to the back in last place, and Bonnie Short a second last along the back. Ambrose Call, the leader, it led Kwazulu, chasing well now. Witch Bank had dropped out of it, up in front of it now is uh, African Zone, followed then by Bonnie Short, but up to the turn now and dashing to the lead around the turn African Zone, uh, joining it on the outside as Witch Bank finishing brilliantly and Witch Bank got up to beat African Zone, third placing went to Bonnie Short, there followed a fair way back by Festinate and then coming African uh, on the inside Ambrose Call and of course the last home KwaZulu. Six, possibly four and three there, very close in that race. Okay, now let's have a look. The Harness Racing Club Classic. Ready for a start. Mobile Barrier pulls away in the back straight. They're racing out wide. Admiral Holiday showing speed with Transit Lane and also odds terrated towards the inside. Just in behind them, Harbour Glow, followed by Dunno, Late Brewster. Then it's Motor Power back in behind them, Boulevard. The Unicorn is third last, second last, Vanza Jet. And the outside Empire Fella is last. Odds Terrado tightened up for a stride there, approaching the turn in the first circuit. Dropped out of it now to fifth on the inside. Transit Lane worked to the lead by four metres to Admiral Holiday. Late Brewster works one off the Fence now, four metres to Harbour Glow as its motor power pulls out three wide. Odds to rain out the inside, Harbour Glow the outer, four metres to Van Zagent, followed by Dunno. The Unicorn third last on the outside of Empire Fella and Boulevard one off the fences last. And the judge the first time, two circuits out. The leader transit lane by two metres to its motor power. Third, the fence, Admiral Holiday. Late Brewster, fourth on the outside, followed by Odds Torado, the fence, as the Unicorn has now set alight from third last. He pulls to the outside, three wide. Back in behind them, Harbour Glow. On the fence, there's Dunno. Two metres away, Van Zagent, followed by Empire Fella. And Boulevard on the outside as last. It's the Unicorn on the outside, tackling Transit Lane a long way from home at the lap and a half. The Unicorn draws two, three metres in front. Now three and a half, but Transit Lane still kicks up. Couldn't keep out the Unicorn as the Unicorn now worked to the lead just for a stride, Transit Lane was tightened, four metres away, third it's Motor Power, then odds Torado he comes off the fence, he gets to a handy 50, he's had a very easy run Admiral Holiday on the fence, a break of eight metres to late Brewster, ten metres to Harbour Glow on the outside of Dunno, then Vansajet Empire Fella and Boudouvard is last, they're flying down the straight with a lap to go, it's the Unicorn by two metres to on the outside Transit Lane, who again has a crack at the Unicorn, draws up with in the neck of the leader. Admiral Holiday third. It's Motor Power fourth. Then late Bruce to the inside of Odds Torado. He'll have the last crack of them. Four metres to Harbour Glow. In behind them Dunno followed by Empire Fella. Vansagent second last and last is Boulevard. Odds Torado now pulls out three wide out of the straight towards the 600. It's the Unicorn in front by four metres. Under pressure Transit Lane. It's Motor Power has gone past him. Admiral Holiday the leader's back. Odds Torado now coming into the fight. In behind them late Brewster, Empire Fella running home. Back in behind them came Dunno, followed 
by Harbour Glow, Van Zagent and Boulevard at the 400 before the turn. The Unicorn just in front, being joined by Odds Torado, and the driver of Odds Torado looks across. He looks as though he may have the Unicorn beaten. G looks confident. Admiral Holiday needing to run the leaders back. Then Empire Fellow pulling out, followed by its motor power and late Brewster. They straighten up inside the 200. The Unicorn the inside. Odds Torado the outside. Odds Torado grabbed the lead. Admiral Holiday getting out of the pack, making ground. It's Odds Torado at the 100 in front. The Unicorn has gone. Odds Torado two metres in front. Admiral Holiday picking it up. Odds Torado hanging on. And Odds Torado has won by a neck to Admiral Holiday. Eight metres away, third Empire fella. Then Van Zagent. The Unicorn weakened fifth. In behind them, Harbour Glow, Late Brewster, Dunno, it's Motor Power Boulevard, and last in was Transit Lane. Two, eight and seven, race six at Mooney Valley. Two, eight and seven, it appears. Ninth event of the night from Penrith. Racing, flying out of the box is Pak Jalinji, but joined soon after by Pretty Diner and hustling up on the outside, Placid Magic. Placid Magic takes the lead by a length on second, Pak Jalinji. Railing up nicely was Brother Just, followed by Pretty Diner and Shut Yard Maggie. The centre is Big Bear Janice and two further back, Sea Royale. Three last was Garam Bandor. At the top turn, Placid Magic in front by two. Pressure applied by Brother Just. Third was Big Bear Janice finishing on. Two further back, Pak Jalinji. Into the straight, Brother Just gets the run, takes the lead, finishing on Big Bad Janice, but Brother Just holds on. Brother Just over Big Bad Janice, third Placid Magic, followed by Shunt Yard, Maggie, Pack, Jalinji, Pretty Diner, and Sea Royale. And last of all was Garam Bandle. Looks like 965. Thank you, Rod. Almost set now. Newcastle, here's Wayne. Man and Manova Lad, they went back to the tail of the field together. And beginning very smartly was Adam's Luck from gate seven. Is tearing across, trying to find the lead, and he's going to do it easily in the run of the first corner. Adam's Luck settles in front of Roman Scandal, moving up on the outside into second spot. A length and a half away then to Swing Along Star in third, followed further back then on the outside by Paddy Shea as they run towards the home corner the first time. Drag the Chain is also up there handy. About a length and a half further back to the rep as they turn the corner, followed by Master Chef over on the inside. A long way back then to From the Terrace, who got into trouble at the start, about uh, five or six lengths behind the second last horse, which is the Tin Man. Racing up to the judge, one circuit left to go, and Adam's Luck looking good on top. Adam's Luck leads the way by a length and a half, Roman Scandal. Drag the chain, moving up on the outside next. Swing along, stars being tapped along this far from home. They're running along these leaders. About a length and a half further back, the rep over on the inside. Paddy Shea, the outside, followed by Master Chef as they work down the back. On the outside next as they run along then is the Tin Man, followed by Manova Lad. And last of all is from the terrace. Down the back the last time. And the leader, Adam's Luck, just shows the way to Roman Scandal and they've got right away. They're about eight lengths in front of Swing Along Star. Drag the chain is next, followed by the rep and then Paddy Shea. Taking off from a long way back is the Tin Man, followed by From the Terrace. At the 400 metre mark, and Adam's Luck shook off Roman Scandal. Adam's Luck about three in front of Roman Scandal, a minute in front of the others. Making up ground, the Tin Man on the outside, about to move into third spot, but up to the home corner. You'd want to be on the leader. Adam's Luck swings around the bend, 2.50 to go, three clear of Roman Scandal. Ten lengths away, the others, but Adam's Luck putting in a faultless exhibition. This two-year-old is killing them in the run of the post, and Adam's Luck spearing right away about five in front of Roman Scandal really running some time Adam's luck right to the wire scores brilliantly clocks just outside the two minutes a top run Roman Scandal second a mile back in third spot the tin man making up ground from the terrace a nice run followed by swing along star then came the rep Paddy Shea dragged the chain Minova lad and back with it was Master Chef 798 at Newcastle, 798 are uh, the uh, <coughs> numbers there. Reaches the starting area. They're just about ready now. A mile the trip. All set. Tonight's claimer, lights on, racing. Datum came out of the gate very quickly and Rover's pet in the centre began well. Looney Foot fairly away and so was Capolite on the rail but there's a charge to lead and Rover's pet will win the battle to be in front on the first turn. Rover's pet crossed onto the rail to lead Datum. Capolite third and Leo Lobel rushing forward deep around Comedy Lad. Looney Foot eased on the outside of April Glory and then the Golden Fantasy and International Liner. Sherwood Lad is second last and Errol Karamir had dropped out to the tail. Rovers pet the leader at the end of the first quarter. Down the stretch and Rovers pet a half length in front. 
Comedy Lad moves up on the outside, runs up into second spot outside of Rover's Pet. First quarter, 28.2. Capolite third and Datum fourth. One out and one back. Then April Glory on the inside of Looney Foot. One to the Golden Fantasy, followed by International Liner, who's four back in the running lane. A length to Sherwood Lad on the inside of Errol Caramere and Leo Lobel after being trapped wide and dropped back to the tail of the field. Rover's Pet takes them to the back. 30.9 second section. Rovers paired a length in front. Comedy Lad second. Capolite three quarters of a length away third. Datum fourth and sweet seating around April Glory.